Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is, what is accounting? So, first of all, the role of accounting. Data must be recorded and reported in accounting reports. Then, the information can, provided, can be provided sorry, to business owners, managers, investors, and others to make business decision and measure performance. So, okay, we have a small business, we purchase stuff, we pay them, we sell stuff, and are we profitable? How much do we have? How much do we owe to others? So, what is happening in my business? And not only business, non-profit organizations like NGOs and so on. So, it is the role of accounting to tell them what is really happening. So, what is accounting? Accounting is the process of planning, recording, analyzing and interpreting financial information. Financial, anything related to money. Okay, if we are dealing with money, we are accounting it. An accounting system is a planned process designed to compile financial data and summarize the results in accounting records and reports. So this is an accounting system. We will be working with this accounting system in a lot of videos through our channel and through our playlist about recording, about compiling data, about summarizing, about uh, reporting them. And the financial reports that summarize the financial condition and operations of a business are called financial statements. We have a lot of financial statements. Balance sheet, also called statement of financial position in some countries. Uh, income statement, statement of cash flows, and so on. So we have a lot of financial statements. And okay, is it possible to account our personal life? Yes, it is. Because what do we have? A net worth statement that is some sort of a balance sheet allows the person extending their loan to see the financial position of a borrower on a specific date and make a lending decision. Anything of value that's owned is called an asset. And here, not only owned, but controlled as well. Sometimes we don't own it, but we control it. It is also an asset. An amount owed is called a liability. We own money to banks or to our uh, partners or anyone, uh, it is called a liability. Okay, for instance, we own money to our supplier, we purchase stuff on account to sell it later, it is a liability. And then the difference between personal assets and personal liability is called personal net worth. It is for personal lives. In business, net worth is called equity. Okay, and it is related to the accounting equation that, by the way, we have a video about accounting equation in our channel and the link to this accounting equation video is in our video description, okay? And equity is the difference between assets and liability, okay? So, let's see it. Uh, Saida Kelchi, a net worth statement in September 27th of any random year. Assets, savings account, $2,000. Class ring, 250 So her total assets, 2000 and a quarter, 2250 Liability, over to parents, 50 Doesn't matter if she will pay them or not. 
Uh, she owe to Ace Electronics 125. So her total liability is 175. So the net worth is assets 2250 less liabilities 175. So the net worth is $2,075. Okay, and if it was a company, it would be called a balance sheet or some sort of balance sheet. So total assets less total liability is equal to net worth, also known as equity in business. So here, one total assets, two liabilities, three net worth. Okay, guys, and business ethics, the principle of right and wrong that guide an individual in making decisions are called ethics. And the use of ethics in making business decisions is called business ethics. It is about doing everything right. We need to pay attention on ethics in business in all of our accounting records as well. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. Have questions, comments, and so on, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. And also like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Okay, have a very nice day and God bless you.